While there's no denying Dave Chappelle's success as a comedian, he definitely isn't your typical Hollywood-loving celebrity. In fact, he's quite the opposite. How could one of the most promising comedians of recent history have left a successful television series? How could he have walked away from a $50 million contract? Man, where do you start? Damn the story. Around 2005, when The Funny Man decided to turn down a huge deal in order to live a simpler life in Ohio, many were surprised. In this video, I'll give you all the details on where Dave calls home, but since he's one of the most reclusive celebs out there, this house will be a little different. Wanna know what happened to me? Dave Chappelle is a stand-up comedian, actor, writer, and producer. He's experienced a ton of success and fame over the years, collecting awards like Emmys, Grammys, and even a Mark Twain Prize for American Humor, which is presented by the Kennedy Center as the highest honor in comedy. He's known for his sketch series, Chappelle Show, which ran until 2006, when he then took a highly publicized break from fame. But I'll get into that shortly. Dave did return to performing stand-up across the US and has since been named number nine on the Rolling Stones list of 50 best stand-up comics of all time. Dave's also appeared in several films over the years such as The Nutty Professor, Undercover Brother and more, with his first lead role being in the 98 comedy movie Half Baked, which he also co-wrote. You look great. You look wonderful. Thank you. You know what? I was thinking it's so nice out. Wanna go for a walk? Yeah, sure. You can go for a walk. Good. Good. Let's. So far, so good. Three hours and 14 miles later and I hadn't spent one penny. Damn, I was good. In 2016, he signed a 20 million per release comedy special deal with Netflix. And as of last year, he has released five stand-up specials with them. That being said, Dave's current net worth is estimated at $50 million, but I feel like that number has probably increased. So why then would one of the richest comedians choose to live in a remote area in a house that costs him about only a quarter million dollars? I mean, that's cheaper than any houses I hear of these days. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Like I said, this one might be a little different because Dave Chappelle is one private person, regardless of his superstar status. I'll be showing you his humble abode in Ohio where he grew up and even his car collection, which is a little more celeb worthy than the home. If you like these videos, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when we post. You can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of Ice T and Coco and Eddie Murphy, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before we see what Dave's current property looks like, we'll talk about his childhood home. Although he was born in Washington, D.C., he grew up in Silver Spring, Maryland, and spent his summers in Yellow Springs, Ohio after his parents separated, which, lo and behold, is where he currently lives. Dave's childhood home was his Cape Cod style house in the North Woodside neighborhood of Silver Spring that his parents bought back in 1973. He went to Woodland Elementary School, which, funny enough, a young Sylvester Stallone also attended many years earlier since he grew up in the same neighborhood. Although Dave lived in this humble North Woodside home for most of his upbringing, his father, William David Chappelle III, moved to Yellow Springs where he eventually became a professor at Antioch College. So of course, Dave spent a lot of time there with his dad. Nostalgia for his childhood fueled Dave's desire to provide his own family with a similar upbringing as he had in the same Ohio town. Like I already said, Dave has got to be one of the most notoriously private celebrities out there. Back in 2006, the half-baked star packed up his bags and family and moved to Yellow Springs, Ohio instead of signing a deal to continue with his self-titled TV show. He said in 2005, I'm interested in the kind of person I've got to become. I want to be well-rounded and the industry is a place of extremes. I want to be well-balanced. I've got to check my intentions, man. I'll tell you what happened, but I can't say it directly. There's a book to me that encapsulates my entire experience before I left the show. And the book is called Pimp written by a black American who was a pimp in the 40s. He describes in detail how these men break women so that they will give them the money that they make with their own bodies. Because, uh, you know, when you're a guy that generates money, yeah. people have a vested interest in controlling you. There's a story in here so cold it makes me shudder to think about it. Well, Iceberg Slim is trying to control the woman that he finds uncontrollable. I would go to work on the show and I felt awful. 
every day. I felt like some kind of prostitute or something. Like, if I feel so bad, why I keep showing up to this place? When Dave Chappelle suddenly left Hollywood for Yellow Springs, it seemed like a super bold move and he was considered the biggest recluse. In fact, many of his industry colleagues and tabloids assumed he was either spending his fortune excessively or falling to the dark side of fame. But Dave was quick to shut that down, saying, There were things that overwhelmed me, but not in the way that people are saying. I haven't spent any of the money. All that stuff about partying and taking crack is not true. Why do I live on a farm in Ohio to support my partying lifestyle? Clearly when the pressures of fame grow too great, not even a $50 million deal can keep some artists from changing their life direction, which was the case with Dave. I'll give you an example. The first season ends. Yeah. Uh, and in the middle of the seasons, there was a, a renegotiation. Okay. Ultimately through a series of events and a, and a little pressure, uh, I ended up uh, settling for, for way less than what I wanted. After signing an eight-figure mega deal with Comedy Central in 2004 for The Chappelle Show, Dave would abandon it the following year, fleeing to South Africa amidst filming the third season. Although rumors raged about drug abuse, mental instability, and drama with the network, the comedian refused to blame the show's producer. Instead, he said the stress was more to do with some of his inner circle and himself. I forgot the, the hostility of the environment of show business. I mean, maybe there's something else going on. Maybe these rapes aren't even the worst of it. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? Either way, although Dave continued to work and perform stand-up, he moved to a super humble home in Yellow Springs, Ohio, where he still currently resides with his family. In case you were wondering, Yellow Springs is a village in Greene County, Ohio that only had a population of around 3,400 at the time of the last census, and Dave's home is remote to say the least. While it may seem strange to imagine such a famous celeb living in a location like Yellow Springs, it turns out that Dave and his wife Elaine Chappelle love it. The comedian explained while hosting a blues and jazz festival in the area, I used to be cable hottest star and now I'm just a Yellow Springs guy. Turns out you don't need 50 million dollars to live around these parts. Just a nice smile and a kind way about you. You guys are the best neighbors ever. So what is Chappelle's Ohio farm actually like? Well it's located southwest of Yellow Springs and he's lived here since 2005. Prior to this he was on a spiritual retreat in South Africa like I mentioned and returned to his home later in the summer ready to integrate with the local community. It's reported online that Dave bought this home in January 2005 but he's also said he purchased it in the late 90s but didn't live there permanently. His Yellow Springs home is situated in over 39 acres of pristine farmland and surrounded by a ton of greenery and foliage, especially perfect for someone low-key like Dave. He lives here with his wife and their three kids, Suleiman, Abraham, and Sana. Though we don't have photos inside Dave's home, it's extremely modest, especially by celebrity standards, spanning 3,154 square feet of living space inside with three beds and three and a half baths. Of course, Dave's expansive property includes a private gated entrance just in case the surrounding forest isn't enough security. From aerial views, it looks like his simple estate has either a detached guest house or a large barn on the property too, since we can see more than one structure. Current estimates place his home's value at just over 277 k I think the comedian has cars that cost him more than that. With a mortgage like that and a $50 million plus net worth, we can see how Dave can support his love of luxury vehicles, but I'll show you those in a moment. Like I said, Dave has emotional ties to Ohio that trace back years, talking about this in 2017 with Hot 97. My dad got real sick in 98, so I would drive back and forth. And there were no good hotels in Ohio, so I bought a house there. And at a certain point, I moved into the house. And when I quit the Chappelle show, I moved back into the house. And that's only one of the reasons a famous comedian chooses a simpler life. I walked away from $50 million, and in November, I made a deal for $60 million. Are you having fun this time around? I am making a point to have fun this time. You are? Yes. If you guys happen to know more details about Dave's home or what it looks like inside, let me know in those comments. But for now, let's check out his cars. So Dave is no Jerry Seinfeld with his car collection, but he has demonstrated some taste for the finer things in terms of his wheels. The comedian has been photographed driving a handful of luxury vehicles over the years, so let's see what he keeps in his garage. I mean, he's definitely not low on space on his 40 acres of land. Dave owns a Rolls Royce Phantom drop head coupe, which is valued at more than 400 k almost double the price of his humble family home, and there were only a few hundred manufactured in their first year of production. Also in his collection, he owns a Lexus LS460, which is likely the everyday car, and a Range Rover Sport that can fit the whole family. Not to mention, he has a gorgeous white Porsche 911 Carrera and a Porsche Cayenne. Although Dave's collection isn't as big as some celebrity car collectors, I gotta say it's still surprising considering his modest Ohio lifestyle. This whole Dave Chappelle thing is gonna end but I feel like I'm gonna be some kind of parable. 
by either what you're supposed to do or what you're not supposed to. So I'm going to be something. I'm either going to be a legend or just that tragic fucking story, but I'm going full throttle. I'm going all the way. So now we've seen all there is to see about comedian Dave Chappelle and where he calls home in Ohio. Were you guys surprised to see that he lives in such a remote location or that his house costs under 300 grand? I know we couldn't see the inside of the place since the man is so private, but from what we do know, do you think it's weird he chooses to live so simply? I wish I could see more of his place, but I think it's kind of nice that a celebrity worth 50 mil prefers to live on a farm than in Hollywood. Before we wrap this video up, I'll read out a couple comments from previous vids. These are from our recent Ice Tea and Coco house tour. Chez Girl Rose wrote, Wow, wow, and wow. I love their house they live in now. Coco's closet is just amazing. Their bedroom is ultimate. The view is gorgeous, and Ice Tea's car collection is outstanding. The best house I've ever watched on Famous Entertainment. Thanks, Kara. I'm so glad you liked it, and I had fun reporting on that one. I loved Ice Tea and Coco's house too. It's just so unique and fun. And Cynthia Kendrick said, Beautiful home. I love the disco tub an amazing Coco store. I was so jealous of Coco's closet and if I had a home that size, you can bet my closet would be just as big. All right, that's all I got for Dave Chappelle and his shockingly humble home in Ohio and his car collection. What did you guys think? Be sure to let me know in those comments down below as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and you wanna chat and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.